all right y'all so ultimately i might post the other half of this because clearly it's deleted now somebody called and interrupt but what i was saying is that i've realized over the last couple of days is that we have the ability to choose happiness above all things in all aspects of our lives like and and what's the sad part about it is that we've been so disciplined and we've been so okay with not being satisfied with not being as um happy or thrilled about things that we ultimately choose not to satisfy ourselves because we all we've been taught to take in consideration everyone else's feelings and sometimes you you need to and i've learned that about myself i need to um disregard what everyone else is thinking and what they feel and just focus in on does this make you happy right now not even thinking about the future and later and years later or whatever the progression sometimes you you can't but right now how are you feeling like have you checked in with you does this make you satisfied are you okay with this right here right now and if not being okay with leaving it because ultimately at the end of the day your dissatisfaction right your dissatisfaction that you are dealing with right now can lead to right being dissatisfied over and over and over again so can you be okay with stopping all of it Stopping the dissatisfaction, stopping the people pleasing. Can you just focus in on, is this going to make me happy right here, right now, internally? Not even externally. Forget everybody that's around you. Can I breathe and can I feel myself, all of me, and be okay with the choice that I'm making right here, right now? Because you can always, the, the difference I feel like between the average person right the most mediocre person and the person that they look to and aspire to is that the person who they aspire to has the ability to make a choice and to take action on the choice that they make and be okay with whatever results it ends in and then turn around and doing it again making a whole nother choice for that new new space that they're in being in a place where in this moment i feel as accomplished as I, I would be if I had everything that I desired. Like that feeling, having that feeling, staying in that feeling, being in that feeling is what's gonna bring all those things. And it's it's a very difficult process. I'm I'm saying it and I know some people are like, what you mean? What's this? What's that? Like I'll probably come back on here and we'll talk a little bit more in depth and whatever else on it. But choosing to be happy it takes continuous practice choosing to be happy it takes being okay with everyone else feeling upset in the moment because at the end of the day you can't be your best version of yourself if you are always putting yourself last and not choosing you you're the only person who's allowed to truly choose you every time and if you're not doing it then you're not being real to to who you are and at the end of the day the end of the road you're gonna always feel as though something is lacking something is missing um that everyone else doesn't understand and that everyone else isn't loving you properly because you don't love you properly it's crazy i know but i've been learning this lately and I've been seeing it more and more. And it could be in the most simplistic things. It could be in the, the the hardest things. Just choosing to just not focus on the reality of what's happening. Because reality is still constrained, right? Reality is still fictional. Like your perception of what reality is is based off of your continuous experience and exposure so reality truly isn't reality it's just a a combination of um ideas and experiences and you choose how you're going to respond to those things and one of the things that i've learned the most and that i've i've applied over the years but now i'm like being fully focused on it and, and fully focused and aware 
like just choosing to laugh like have y'all ever like i want y'all to try this this week when somebody say something to you and you want to cuss them out or you want to you want to like get down and dirty or whatever it is or even like your child say something pop off at you like just pause it and just bust out laughing like just take that moment and be like did they just and just laugh like literally just laugh and chuckle deep down because they're gonna look at you crazy like what is wrong with her what is wrong with him what are they what but just really choosing to laugh it off and i've seen this this week i've been doing it for a couple years and i really become more aware of it lately that i do that but this week i've seen it even in other people where they be like i would get mad at this person but i'm not i'm choosing not to be mad i'm choosing to ultimately laugh at this situation i'm choosing to to ultimately let this person while i because they just don't know no better and it just there's a release in that some kind of way there's a release and you just gotta get to a point where you just don't take life so serious and again it may be hard to start it may be hard to continue but just do it and along the way a lot of things are gonna shift for you but y'all i'm not gonna stay on here long i just wanted to share that because i love y'all and <laughs> y'all already know i'm gonna be back to y'all bring y'all something else about this wonderful thing i call life all right y'all y'all have a good sunday today is sunday so y'all have a good sunday a uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday whatever day it is for you when you watch this have a good day love y'all